Hey everyone, so today we're going to talk about a topic that drives everybody mad, or they are mad from it. Yeah, either way, we'll take care of it. And what we're going to talk about today is that annoying loose screw that we all have. In most cases, it's actually me. Anyways. So, let's see what you can do about those screws that constantly loosen up, and what you can do to prevent it from being an issue with most frames. So this little guy right here, the screw right at the hinge, is the most common to loosen up on most frames. Whether by design or manufacturing tolerances, it's a pretty common problem to run across. Even on higher end frames, it can be an issue occasionally. Now some manufacturers spec each screw, and that's a little bit different case, but anyways. So when these do loosen up, of course you can tighten the screw back up, but as you move these, in a lot of cases, that is going to continue to loosen the screw. You can see it kind of turns with the frame a little bit, and it just doesn't really work over the long term. It's going to cause that screw to back out. And then you have floppy temples all the way up to, if you have a certain type of spring hinge, the whole temple becomes loose and wiggly and just doesn't fit right anymore. Or it loosens up to the point the temple falls off entirely, and that's a whole other problem to deal with. Now, on to what we can actually do to fix this incredibly annoying problem. So to start with, you'll need just a few basic things, of course. A screwdriver that's flathead or Phillips, depending on what kind of screws you have in here, and this here. Very simple to work with, just clear nail polish, rapid drying, just so you don't get it stuck to your face when you go to put the glasses back on, or, of course, you know, nail polish all over the place, which is also easy to do. I've done it a million times, so I stick to the rapid dry for that purpose. But... The main thing you'll want to focus on here is, in this case, you'll actually want to take and back the screw out just a little bit to start with, and that's going to let that nail polish get down in there. Of course, you can use any sort of thread locking compound. Occasionally, that can be too much for the screws and actually cause other issues with the frame, but you'll want that to back out just a hair so there is a little bit of a hole for this to get down into, because if you just put it on the end, of course that's going to break loose too easily, and then you can't... Haha, <laughs> I threw my screw out. Enjoy. See? That's how this stuff works. It doesn't always go as planned. Now, hang on just a second, I'll get the screw seated back in and we'll get back to you. As luck would have it, I lost that screw, so that brings up another good tip and something I have to fix later try to work over either a magnetic pad or something to catch the screws in if they do fall off so they don't roll off the table and you're looking blind and crazy trying to find a lost teeny tiny screw. I'll fix that later. I have tons of screws around here and I keep throwing things all over the place today so enjoy that. But back to the main point. I've already loosened the screw back up on this side over here and as I mentioned you'll want to take and just a tiny tiny dab right there over the bottom side of the screw, not the side you actually push and pull on. You want it to be on the underside where the threads are. So then you want to take and just back off about a half a turn again, and then you will tighten the screw right back down all the way. Don't let your screwdriver slip because you can damage the frames that way, of course. And then once that's tight, and of course you'll want to check for snugness on your own. This is going to vary for each frame and how much you like it. Of course you don't want to over tighten it because that can damage the frames over time as well. But now it's got a nice pretty solid feel to it and once that dries, that is going to be sealed down inside where those threads are keeping it in place for the long term. The great thing about this, if you do need to repair or switch parts or anything along those lines, it's still gonna have enough give to it where that can be broken loose and free, and you're not stuck with the frame permanently in that way. So don't use super glue. A lot of the thread locking compounds at this fine level are really too much for it as well. And that's why I don't use those, because you wind up with a screw stuck in the frame. And that just doesn't work very well in the end. 
Now that I have managed to make a giant mess of things and get clear nail polish all over the place, lose a screw, and show you all the ways this can go badly, even when you do it all the time, I guess because I couldn't really see my hands very easily with the camera position. It happens. Anyways, now you've got a great tip, along with a few follies along the way in this case, on how you can keep the loose screw from being a constant problem for you. If this video helped you out, like, subscribe, leave some feedback down below if you've ever tried this before, or some of the other methods that didn't work out, or this method didn't work out, and you lost your screws and everything else. I <laughs> will catch you guys next time, hopefully with a less uh, folly-filled video. Take care.